West, two teams in the NFC playoff hunt at Lambeau Field in December. Doesn't get much better than that. Packers and Buccaneers, it's time for final thoughts. Weston, what's at stake? Winning ways at Lambeau Field, Mike. Unfortunately for Green Bay, they saw their three-game overall win streak end in New York, but they come back to Green Bay actually with three straight victories here at Lambeau, and you want to take advantage of it. You said it. We're in December. This is Packers football weather, not Tampa Bay. Make it look like it. Yeah, absolutely, and this NFC playoff picture is totally jumbled. A whole bunch of teams at 6-7, and seven, including both of these playing at Lambeau Field, and as you said, the Packers lost a game last week. This is the wrong time of year to have a losing streak. You got to get back on the winning track. Wes, who's heating up? Presented by Aurora Heated Apparel. Patrick Taylor, Mike. The Green Bay Packers have a lot of questions right now with their backfield. You have Aaron Jones trying to make the comeback with the knee. Now you have A.J. Dillon dealing with the thumb. Well, PT has been a very consistent contributor for this team for a number of years. I thought last week played really well against New York. I know there was that one sideline issue, but overall, six touches, 52 total yards. The Packers may need to lean on him heavily here if some injuries happen and can't get everybody else out there at the running back position. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to stay on the offensive side of the ball here and bring up up, rookie tight end Tucker Craft. I know you mentioned him a couple of weeks ago. You look at the last few games, he had his first career touchdown against the Detroit Lions on Thanksgiving. Now the last two games combined seven catches, 101 yards. He's really stepped up into a bigger role since Luke Musgrave went out with the injury and the Packers are going to keep needing him. Wes, when you're coming off a game and turn the ball over three times, you're going to win the next one, hopefully, if you protect the football. So that has to be job one. But the other part of this is to force Baker Mayfield, the opposing quarterback, into a mistake or two. That's been the formula for beating him here at Lambeau Field in recent years, and the Packers need to do that again with their pressure and with their secondary. It's a great point, Mike. For me, I think it's just finishing drives. I mean, you're going to be taking on a Tampa Bay red zone defense that's currently ranked fourth in the NFL. Yes, they've given up a lot of yards this year, but it's been how much they've been able to stymie the opposition once they've gotten inside the 20. Green Bay didn't do a good enough job of that in New York. A lot of things went wrong, but it was the inability to put six points on the board and get into the end zone. Have to change that against the Buccaneers. Yeah, no doubt about it. And with that, we'll sign off on this edition of Final Thoughts. Be sure to follow all of our coverage of Sunday's game from Lambeau Field on Packers.com and on all of your social media channels. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the ballgame.